All right, this is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and we are back with another Raid Shadow Legends free-to-play Mystery Shard Only Champion Spotlight. Today we are going to be looking at Ryan the Conjurer. I don't know why I say it like that. Ryan the Conjurer. And uh, see what she's all about. She's got some really cool sword flamey wands. I don't know what they are, but they're pretty cool. And uh, yeah, she's actually better than I thought she'd be. And uh, we're going to see how she does. So let's look at her and see why she's good. So, A1. She attacks one enemy, has a 50% chance of placing a block buffs debuff on the enemy for two turns, which is not bad if you uh, have a buff problem. And then she has a 75% chance of removing all buffs from all enemies, which is awesome because that is a buff stripper. This could be used pretty much anywhere. Uh, she also has a 75% chance of placing a 25% weaken on all enemies for two turns, so that's even better. Revives a dead ally by with 50% HP, then fills their turn meter by 50%. Oops, I have the burps. Then she will then also place block debuffs on them for two turns, which is very nice. We'll also revive Akoth or Urust, Urost, the Soul Cage, with 30% HP if they are on the same team and not the target of the skill. So basically, it's just an extra revive if they're on the team and happen to all be dead at the same time. But if that's the case, you're probably going to lose that fight. But hey, it could be clutch. And then if a if Akoth or Urost is on the is a target of the skill, that champion will revive with 50% HP and 50% turn meter and a block debuffs for two turns. So basically she's great with other heroes from the Doom Tower, is essentially what her point is. But she's very good by herself. And she's useful in a lot of areas. Now, Masteries, we did a more almost like a Sill kind of build where she's got a lot of defensive stuff going on. She has a 30% chance of placing block debuffs on this champion for one turn when something expires and she has some like, you know, defensive stuff, you know, reducing damage, things like that. And then she's got a ton of accuracy stuff that we did. Uh, she has a 30% chance to extend the duration of any debuff cast, which is nice. Uh, she also has a 5% chance of increasing the chance of actually placing some of the debuffs, things like that. And then we got her that 50% accuracy so that she actually does it because we want her to we want her to use her skills and use the debuffs and get the weakens and all that crap. So that's important. Our artifacts. Now, we just kind of threw together some stuff on her. It wasn't anything amazing. Honestly, I haven't changed her skills or her anything, really, since we got her. We just leveled it up and said, screw it, we're going to go with it. All right, so we do have, what, crit rate on her glove, we've got defense on the chest, and we've got speed on the boot. We do have defense on the ring, defense on the amulet, and HP on her banner. Reason being, we didn't have an accuracy banner at the time, so we may end up changing that. I don't know if I have one now. I do not. So we need an accuracy banner on her just to get her accuracy up to over that 300 mark, but hey, right now, it is what it is. Total stats... She's got 4,500, 4, sorry, 4,500, that'd be a very bad HP, 45,000 HP, 1776 attacks, she's got 3,400 defense, we want her to stay alive, speed is 190, eh, pushing that 200 mark, we're almost there, 71% crit rate, 92% crit damage, 145 resist, and 252 accuracy, like I said, we want to get that accuracy banner on her eventually so that we can constantly use it. Now, where is she useful? Well, I can't show it today because... Faction Crips are, you know, fun, and they like to have timers that are like 10 months away. So we can't really show that, but we did beat, if you look in here, we can go into battle, Faction Wars. You'll notice that Dark Elf Crypt is completely done with 63 stars, so we did beat it with Ryan. Ryan was on the final team that was able to beat this. It was a rough fight. It was a little bit long, but we were able to do it and pull it off and get that three-star. And yeah, it was all because of Ryan, because the Valkyries or any whatever else was in there, I don't remember what's in the final fight, but being able to strip all of the counterattacks and everything and putting a weaken on instead is literally life-saving. Like, it stops the fight from being even remotely difficult on that second wave, which was a pain in the butt. So we were able to get her through there. Now, let's check her out in Arena. I want to find a team that has a bunch of buffs that are annoying and see if we can do some stripping, but I don't think we're going to find too much. That we can actually win. Let's put it that way. Uh, you know what? We'll try out one of these teams. This team has a lot of buffs that are going to be coming up, right? We'll probably lose this fight. Uh, yeah, let's try it. Let's just try it and see how it goes. So we're going to take you out, and we're going to put Miss Ryan in. And we're going to take you out. And because we're trying to take out certain heroes fast, we're going to bring in Soul Bond. So let's see what we can do. I have a feeling this is going to be a hard loss, but... I've seen weirder stuff happen. You never know. Because especially with Lydia. Oh, and now that we've got Stone Skin, even better. 
I don't think we're going to waste our time with this. If there wasn't stone skin, I would do it, but no point. So let's go in. We're going to refresh and see if we can find some other battles. So here we go. This one has a bunch of stuff that's annoying. Let's start this one. We're going into annoying fights. And by the way, that's what I do with any, any arena fight that I know is going to be annoying. I don't waste my time with it, and you shouldn't either. So we got attack up. We're going to freeze everybody just like that. Now, we're not going to use that weaken yet. All right, we want to block buffs. So what we're going to do is try to do it on him. So now he can't do any buffs. And we're going to try and kill her really fast, which almost happened. We're going to take her out. There we go. Now, we got the reviver gone. So now we're going to try and steal your turn meter. And we didn't, but we froze him, so that's good. Now, she can revive also, but at this point, there doesn't seem... I don't know if he does... I don't know if he does block damage. Either way, we're going to weaken these guys, just in case. So now they don't do as much, which is good. We're going to try and kill him, because he can do some serious stuff. He's going to counterattack there. All right, now we can reduce turn meter. Actually, these are all the wrong affinities, so we're going to take... Oh, it worked, so we got it. Now we're trying to freeze him. All right, so that worked. And now she's just going to kind of pop. Look at that, block buffs on everybody. Attack up. We can kill you, or we can freeze you. I feel like freezing you is more important, or killing you. Now we can... He's not ready to go, so we're going to try and kill her. And Oop, what's going on? Here we go. There we go. She's dead. Look at that. Yo, if, if you thought that Soul Bomb was bad, that should have just changed your mind. So there we go. That was that. Now let's see if we can find someone real quick who actually has some things that we can take off. This is an easy fight. We're not going to mess with that. Uh, um, who's got a lot of, here we go, this guy, these guys suck, let's try this, this is going to be a horrible fight, they're going to go first and we're going to get murdered, but let's try it, I want to get a team that, hopefully if we're lucky their speed is low, which it wasn't, alright, so look at all those debuffs, alright, now all of our skills are locked, which is bad, so that means we're not going to be able to remove anything, so hopefully we can freeze someone, let's try and freeze Skull Crown, or not, all right, so that's that. Hopefully it missed her. No, but did not. Now we're going to try and remove buffs from you. Not going to work. Let's do this. We're going to have to hopefully get some reviving going on here. Go oh, everyone's dead. Well, that would have been a good place for her. But yeah, unfortunately, we weren't fast enough. So we have to be faster. So get your speed up if you're worried. Here we go. Here's another one. Let's try this one. Basically, if the Arbiter's in front, I'm probably going to lose because my speed's not high. So... Oh, we actually got a speed up on this one. That's insane. So now we're going to try and freeze everyone. There we go. All right, so now all of these buffs are on here. So now we're going to go and strip that. See? Boom. Now everyone's got weakened. Now who's the most annoying? She's the most annoying. She's the most annoying. She's only annoying if she gets her turn. So we're going to try and kill Siffy first. And there we go. She's dead. Now we're going to go for Arbiter because she's going to revive people. Decrease in turn meter. There we go. Revived. And she's going to remove our buffs. So even better. Now we're going to try and take down your Carl. Because the counterattack doesn't matter so much. Uh, we're going to try and kill her. A lot of reviving in this team. Now we're going to try and remove with Arbiter. Hopefully we get a debuff down. We did. All right. Valkyrie has already done her deed. So we don't need to worry about it. Let's put some. see if we can get a block debuff. We cannot. All right, we want to reduce turn meter on this girl. There we go. No more turn meter, but she's going to get a counter. Now we can hopefully freeze Arbiter, which we did. We're going to need some healing fast. There we go. All right, so now hopefully... Now, she's frozen, so we don't have to worry about that. We're going to try and take... There we go. Blocked buffs. That's always good. All right, so now we can freeze everyone, but we're going to steal turn meter from her. So she's dead. And then we're going to try and freeze everyone. There we go. Now we're going for Arbiter because she's the only one who can bring people back. All right. So we don't have our skills on her yet. So now we have Weaken. So now we can Weaken everybody again. Of course, that would have been a good time to do that. No freeze, obviously. Let's see. Can we take down Arbiter is the question. All right. She's dead. Luckily, Arbor has a long cooldown on her uh, revives. So we're going to do that, get our attack ups. And now hopefully that'll be enough to take down Arbiter. Boom, done. So now we're going to kill you. And hopefully, there we go. So now she's going to do that. 
We're going to try and remove it. Take it down by one at least. So that's something, right? All right. Can we get a freeze or die? Okay. Nice. We got the freeze. Now we're going to go for the kill with Solvon. Oh, she actually removed her debuff. Look at that. Now we're going to not weaken her. I thought we were going to be able to weaken her. So now we got block buff, so she can't put that up again, which is good. But I think she removes stuff, so there is that. A lot of counter attacking, but now she's dead. Good night. So there you go. Either way, you can see that she's useful for things like, especially like a Valkyrie or a Withier or um, I forgot the other one there that puts up a ton of buffs, even like a Mithrala. But the problem is you have to have high accuracy. So it does work. It's good for the arena if you have if you have teams that you're trying to fight that have a lot of buffs. You can just kind of remove them. You might have to speed tune your team a little bit better because this is obviously not a team I, I use often. It's not something that I consider using really a lot. But yeah, if you need somebody who can do that kind of stuff, then great. There you go. Remove all their buffs and you're ready to go. Where else is she good? Honestly, Faction Wars, Doom Tower, pretty much anything that requires you to remove buffs is good in here. Um, I can't really think of anyone off the cuff any one specific area, maybe? We'll try here. I think this team might have had a lot of crap. Yeah, sure. Let's take her, take him out. We'll bring her in. Whoop, nope. We'll bring in Ryan. I think we got some good stuff. Let's go. So we're going to try it with this team, see what happens. I don't even know what the hell I was doing and why this team is the team I'm using, but it's the one we're going to use now. So now you got your weakens, and she has a revive, which is even better. So now everybody's weak, even though it doesn't really help. And then you've got block buffs. The thing is, is she is only good in areas where you can't incapacitate somebody, like in areas where enemies might have really high resist and your chances of actually landing your skills might be a problem because her removal is basically the answer to that. It's also good for when you get into a fight with like teams that have a lot of like, say there's like six Valkyries in the fight. That's a good time to have Ryan available because she can take all that down in one, literally one swoop, and weaken them at the same time. So now we've got Provoke, so that's good. We don't have to worry about much. So she's kind of a specialist hero. She's not amazing in all areas, because she's very useless in areas where the enemies don't have a ton of buffs. Because she doesn't really do any damage. She's literally just there as a reviver, and that's kind of why she worked out in Faction Crypt, because she can remove all the stuff, and she could revive someone if they died. So really... The only thing you need to do is make sure she doesn't die. So you could put her in some kind of a healing set. You could put her in more defensive stuff. You could put her in a bunch of stuff. You could get her in a speed set. I mean, numerous options. But I would just make sure she has as much HP and defense that you can possibly put on her and as much speed as you can put on her because you want her to be able to constantly take those buffs off and revive anyone who dies on a quick, you know, on the quick move. She's the clutch hero is what she is. And that weaken is no joke. Like... Having an extra weekend on any team is a good thing. So don't think that just that weekend isn't worth bringing her in sometimes. If you have teams that are really strong, doing a lot of damage and things like that, yeah, weaken them up. Ryan's, Ryan's way better than I thought she was going to be. I really thought it was going to be kind of a whatever hero, and she was going to be on the back burner. And then she ended up beating Faction Crypt 21, and I started seeing her value. There you go, auto climb. See Ryan popping in. She does zero damage though. Like, look at that. Like Arbiter does more damage and she doesn't even hit. So there you go. Bastion. So let's go into the only other place that she will be very useful. And we haven't done the fight yet. So here we go. We're gonna go in here and see if we can get a win here, actually. There's only a day left. I actually forgot to even do this. That's just funny. So it actually works out that we're doing it now. So I don't remember the original fight. I know we brought her in. I know we bring Syl in. Uh Ryan. I believe we brought in our new friend, Tolog. He was on the team. We need someone who can remove debuffs, so we'll bring in Spirit Host. And then we need... Now, the HP burn is basically your your go-to. Having the Provoke is good, and then you also want to bring in another Provoker if possible. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking our option... So we really either need another Reviver... Or a, another provoker, but I don't think honestly, I don't think another provoker is even that useful. We're gonna bring in my boy here. We've got two revivers, so now we've got a, a reasonable team. We have the accuracy here to make sure we're landing stuff. Sometimes that's important, but I would put her in the lead right now. 
and see how that goes because we want the speed. Speed's way more important sometimes in this fight because we want them getting less attacks. And if we're faster by 10%, then that means we get more attacks. So then we've got the attack down. We've now Arbiter is good in here too because she can remove stuff. But now we have Ryan. The only downside is that she's going to use that weekend at the wrong times. Unless you like kind of set it up where she uses it at the correct time in the first round. So let's see how, how she, she helps us out. We're going to see if she wastes our time or not. She does block buffs, which is very, very good in this fight, by the way. Stopping it from happening. Now, they're going to have removal of debuffs, and they're going to have block buffs also. But look at that. The damages. It's funny, because I never had the music up in here. And it really is epic. So who's going to die first? Let's see. Everyone's stealing buffs. So that's where the weakened thing comes into play. Now, everybody's going to start dying, so that's not good. Look at that. Getting our face planted. So let's try this again. We're going to do this with free regroup. We're going to pull out... We're going to pull Grush out and bring in... We're going to do some trials here just to kind of see, because like I said, she's a little weird. Now, I think what we did was we could pull... I don't remember what my original team was. Let's try this. Because she's got a lot more speed boosting. Let's see if this does it. Because now we've got a bunch of turn meter specialists. And more reviving, which is always good. Now we've got a smite too, which is even better. But the extra speed up is very good. I think this, this is the area that we got... This is the fight where we got, I think... This is the one I do the least damage on, I think, is this specific iteration of the Hydra, where they do that hit where it just knocks everybody in the face. So we definitely need some more some more uh, trial and error here, but as far as keeping the buffs off of the bosses, it's very helpful. Poison Cloud, that's the thing that we don't like, I think. But I also don't really know. So now we've got more block buffs. If she can get more turns, it would be nice. And if we can get that HP going back up, there we go. HP, attack up. We got a little bit more HP back in. Once the fight starts moving, it gets a lot easier. Now, see, she just removed all the buffs off all the bosses, which is very, very helpful. We got the fire going now, the burns, so that's good. Like I said, I didn't really remember the team that we used here with Ryan that made it work really well. But she was on my team that gave us the best, the best damage in this entire thing. Spirit Host is very helpful with keeping the buffs off of your team, but right now we couldn't really we couldn't really use her. At least not with this team. She didn't really help too much. I have a feeling someone's going to die. Luckily, we have three revivers. If we're lucky, they'll eat one of the revivers. All right, so somebody died. Can we keep it going? We've got the burns going, so that's good. All right, we revive Sill again, so that's the one we really wanted. Arbiter's great, but I'd rather have Sill. All right, there we go. Now that's the problem. We're gonna start getting some damage going. Hopefully, we can get up a shield with some healing before that becomes an issue. All right, there we go. We got the HP thing going back up. Stealing of buffs, maybe. So this is going much better. And then Arbiter also has the removal of buffs, which is very important. So now we're going to start seeing a lot more of the buffs popping off. There we go. We popped up. We popped off a, a head, so that's always good. Can we revive Ryan? That would be nice. We got a smite, which is even better. Now we're getting more damage on the head, which is good. And the burns are getting their damage in. That's what we need. We need those. We're, the whole point of this team setup is that we want Drex to constantly light the boss on fire. We want Ryan to constantly remove all of these annoying buffs that they steal. The only thing this team is missing is a blocking of buffs. Now, in this scenario, eventually we're going to have Mithrala. And Mithrala is going to basically be the lifeblood of a team like this and give us the damage we need. So we'll probably end up replacing certain heroes in this team with Mithrala to get our best damage. But this is the team, I believe, that we used specifically to get our best fight in Hydra. Especially if you're getting a bunch of smites off. That's like a huge pop-off. 
every other every round or every other round. That smite is is like good for getting that little pop of damage. And listening to the Star Wars music. Oh, there we go. We got that hit. Now we got to get everyone revived. Oh, not a good time for that. Sometimes it's just luck. That's it. Luck is all it is sometimes. So we have two heroes here. There we go. Another head is back. Removal of buffs is always good. Can we get a revive in to bring some other people back? It would be nice. I didn't, I didn't realize she was provoked. Uh-oh. We've got one reviver left. I mean, either way, this is a good... I'm okay with the damage here because... We've got our box. That's all I need. I don't need 7 million damage. It's nice if I get it. But we have a bunch of more teams that we can use. All right, so now it's just down to Drex and his fires of hell to hopefully get... Oh, and of course, he got swallowed right at the end. So there you go. Is she good in here? Yes. You just got to fix your team and, you know, find the right heroes. This... I don't know if it was this specific team, but it was close to this specific team that we got, I think, almost 6 or 7 million damage with. I could replay this and constantly do it, and I would get better results every time. Unfortunately, Hydra is very random. It's, it's annoying in that sense, where it's just going to constantly... I could literally fight this 100 times with the same team and eventually get, like, 8 million. Like, it's just, it's just the way the Hydra works. But, yeah, this is the team I use. We're going to keep that result because at least I have my win now. I got my box. I'll get my my rewards and my pieces so i don't really care now we're good to go all right uh not there we go so we got one key with three three point seven million i'll take it it's a win all right it's enough to get us into what into that second box so having another fight with a couple million we'll get into that 6.6 .6 maybe we'll save i'll probably do that later today so there you go that's ryan if you wanted to know what she's good at and what she's not good at um you can easily make this one better i mean this is not a hero that I have perfected. It's not a hero that I have anywhere near the perfect stats. We just threw some stuff on her to get her to work, and she helped us beat Faction Crypt, and then I kind of pushed her to the wayside a little bit because I'm working on some other heroes and some other things that are going on with the teams. So if you're looking for a better version of her, I mean, look her up. I, I have to say, I mean, this is one of those few heroes where I have found places for her, but I haven't perfected her and I haven't really gotten her to the point where she'd be amazing. I think having higher accuracy and speed would be your first thing off of this. And then crit rate, crit damage are basically useless on her. Uh, I may switch that out and not do the crit, but at the same time, having her being able to hit with crit can't hurt. But if we're not going to use the attack side of the masteries here, see, as we're not doing it, we don't have War Master. To be honest, her attack is. is 100% useless. Like, there's zero reason for her to do damage. Like, you don't care if she does zero damage. So I would say probably take off the crit glove, maybe put a defense or HP glove on her, uh, get some more accuracy sets on her, maybe use all perception, things like that. Try to find some pieces that have, like, between 20 and 40 accuracy on each piece. Just get her accuracy all the way up to, like, three, 400 if you can, and put the rest of your stats into speed and defense and HP. That's basically what I would say if you wanted to make her a lot better so that she'll survive and not die, because... You want her to revive everybody as, as much as possible. So, yeah, that's it for today. That's uh, that's Ryan the Conjurer. Con the Contra, The Contraband. Uh, that's Ryan the Conjurer. Uh, if you guys have any questions, things you're going to do, places you use her. Tell me where you use her. Tell, you, tell everyone on the channel where you use her. I mean, it's always good if other people talk and say what they use these heroes for. Uh, it helps everybody, including myself. Sometimes, every once in a while, you get that nugget of truth, and it's nice. Sometimes someone will just be like, hey, why do you have that? And I'll be like, oh, yeah, that is kind of dumb. But th in this case, I already know the problem with her. She's she's not built right yet. But, hey, she she did her job, and that's all that matters. She got us through Faction Wars. <laughs> um, yeah, and as always, like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your family. It always helps the channel. And if you want to send a super thanks, feel free. If you want to help support the channel. All right? So this is Ryan the Conjurer, not the Contraband. This is Mobile Gamer Nerd. And you guys, take care.